Hi, okay, so um, back to persecution, unfortunately. Um, so it's, uh, this is a story from International Christian Concern. I've been, um, yeah, I've been following all of their stuff really closely. It's absolutely heart-wrenching. There are some good stories and I will get to them today. Um, okay, so India. Uh, according to the Union of Catholic Asian News, the Home Ministry of India has cancelled four Christian organisations' licences to receive foreign donations. So obviously that will massively impact their ability to sustain their, um, the financial sides of their businesses. The move reportedly comes with no explanation from the government. New Life Fellowship Association, Evangelical Churches Association of Manipur, Ecreo Soculis, Northwestern Gosna Evangelical and Northern Evangelical Lutheran Church have all recently had their licenses suspended under the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. So these four Christian organisations will be unable to legally receive funds from outside of their home country. Christian leaders claim that the BGP, BJP sorry, led government has used these FCRA licenses to um, to pressure their pro-Hindu agenda by cancelling them. And uh, a US-based Christian organization, Compassion International, in 2017, um, sponsored more than 100,000 impoverished children in India and was forced to stop its um, organizational work after these licenses were canceled. So as you can see, like a, three short years ago, over 100,000 children's lives were impacted. Um, the scope for impacting positively and financially the lives of hundreds of thousands of more children in India have been uh, unfortunately um, put to rest for the moment. So I'd ask anyone watching, please do pray for Christian organisations globally, obviously the church as a body of believers, I don't mean the established uh, buildings and the ecumenical councils, I mean the actual people on the ground trying to help impoverished Indians um, and I'd like to point out that obviously this is non-Islamic persecution of Christians. It isn't atheistic. It's um, allegedly, according to what I just read, in support of pro-Hindu uh, nationalists and um, political activists. So I would say look into that if you have an interest for this subject. Hopefully you do because you're here. Um, I'm going to get on to some new stuff in a different video so that it's not like just a barrage of information. What I would say is please do join us on Discord. The link will be available in the description box where we have a pretty consistent stream of Christian news and persecution news as well as Jihad Watch um, content. So please do pray for us at the park. Pray especially for India as they face these hardships and pray for the, the children who aren't even Christian who are being negatively, massively impacted by the... Um, pretty arbitrary uh, decisions of its government without any explanation. All right, God bless you all. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.